Hey, good morning, guys. February 2nd, 2024. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there's actually a lot more snow at Bear Mountain than I expected. It's absolutely gorgeous. And don't forget, guys, if you want to support the channel, go to bigbearweatherandmore.com. We got plenty of merchandise, really great stuff, high quality stuff. Um, we'd really appreciate your support, but enjoy the video and have a great, safe rest of your weekend. Enjoy. Hey, good morning, everyone. It is February, it's Groundhog Day, February 2nd, 2024 beautiful Big Bear Lake. We are just going cruising to see what's going on in town. We're getting a little bit of a light snow shower. We're not supposed to get much today. It's supposed to start again at about two or three o'clock today for maybe five or six hours. It's not going to be much. And then there's going to be a big break till probably Saturday evening. So a, a good day without much stuff going on. And then once, once Saturday evening, evening comes uh it's probably gonna be straight through it, at least that's what it was saying let me let me double check right now we're on moon ridge road I'm gonna head to the uh the resorts right now just so i can see what's going on because i heard the resorts got some more snow yesterday compared to us so yeah starting tomorrow night at about 8 p.m. Then we're gonna get about five days of straight straight snow. So we'll see. Let's see what's going on. That'll be pretty awesome to finally get some some good snow up here. But it does look pretty out here overnight. It probably snowed at my house another inch or so. It wasn't supposed to be snowing. wasn't supposed to be snowing at all, but it continued to snow overnight. But it sure is looking beautiful out here. It's, it's 8, 10 in the morning. check out both resorts real quick. I don't know how close we'll be able to get to Summit though. Say good morning to Rachel. Morning, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to get more snow over here. Yeah, my car door was a little, a little bit hard to open up this morning. It's not that cold outside. It's 30 degrees, but that kind of wet snow is like cement.
people are going to be really happy to go skiing today. I'm sure of it. It's going to definitely be one of the best days we've had. If not the best day we've had all season. So that's good. That's good. I want people to have as much fun as they can up here. So they keep coming. And spending money in our economy. take uh, Switzerland to Snow Summit, which Switzerland can be kind of dicey in these conditions. But that'll get us probably as close as, as we can go. So I can try to just zoom in on how it looks from the outside. There's a lot more snow here. A lot more. So we're going to turn left here and go up to the top. And Bear is not open yet. I think they open at 9. So another 45 minutes and they'll be open. so good out here yeah they got at least four inches over here my house got an inch then when we come back down I'll point the camera out my window so we can see see better There. Looks like a ski resort, doesn't it? Those of you watching, we'll, I don't know if, if I'm going to do a live feed today because there's only going to be six hours later of just some very light snow, nothing special. And, uh, I'll try to save the live feeds for when we're, we're getting hit pretty good. Wow. 
Mr. Planet. So we're gonna drive by Bear by the front real quick. And then we'll go by Summit. And we'll just do a quick quick village drive and then we'll be done. It's gonna be shorter than than usual. Because this is basically just an update video. And these are three of the most favorite places people go when they come to Big Bear is ski resorts or the village area. There's a lot of traffic over here. So we might, I don't know, we'll see. What's up, brother? Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Hey, thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Take care. How cool is that? <laughs> How cool is that, guys? He's a fan of the channel. You gotta love that. At least that's the reaction I get all the time, as opposed to, you know, like, you suck. We hate you, bro. You suck. <laughs> How cool is that, babe? Let's see it. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow. Wow. Look at all that snow falling up there. Guys, this is this is the resort. This is what I'm talking about. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I'm telling you guys, that's a that's really cool. That's a really good feeling to be appreciated for doing what you're passionate about. It's really cool. That's all I'm trying to do <clears throat> is do good things up here. I'm trying to help out, show the tourists what this place looks like, help the locals get to and from work so they can see what the road conditions are like wherever they're, they're, they're gonna be driving for the most part because I am on all the main roads all the time. So that's super cool. That makes me feel really, really good. Rolled it up a little bit so that big chunk doesn't fall on the back. Oh no, how are you good? So great. I mean, look at those piles of snow right there. That's just, that's what I love to see over here. Makes me so happy. This is usually when I would show up for work here at Bear. Go into the kitchen and start getting everything all ready and prepped for the day. Even though everything we had was frozen stuff, it, it was still really tasty. I'm sure Gordon Ramsay wouldn't wouldn't approve, but I mean a ski resort when I was working there for a burger fries and a drink it was I think 17 or 18 bucks how's it going man
telling you, getting recognized. That is that, seriously, that is like the coolest thing ever. No one behind us for a moment. I always have to get this Bear Mountain sign in. guys let's go to summit let's go to summit you ready to go to summit babe so year, years ago the only time I almost got into an accident in the snow it was before I lived here I brought my nephew up skiing and I think it was this power power pole right here, or maybe the next one. Like right about here, going basically this slow. I was in a car that's not good for ice or snow, and I started sliding right here, and I just kept sliding like at a very slow speed. But I kept going and kept going, and came within a couple inches of nailing that that, that power pole right there. Just ridiculous. But I got lucky. It's funny, the only accident I've ever had is up here and it was in the summertime because I wasn't paying attention and I, I rear-ended somebody. You would think that it would be a wintertime thing where I'd, I'd be struggling. No idea what's going on here. All these people are so, so stoked. They are so stoked. These conditions make me just take me back to when I was a preteen coming up here with my big brother Christian. We'd be blasting Nirvana on the way up here, or since he's he's always because he loves to surf all, all the time. He's always been into uh, reggae. So have I though, but it was just, I don't know. Music can transport you into just, it, it's like time traveling. And uh, anytime I want to get those feelings like I used to have driving up here with my older brother, I can just listen to certain music. Look at that, it's not snowing. I mean, there's some flurries right now, but as soon as we left the ski resort, it's hardly coming down at all. <coughs> and as I said, we're, we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take Switzerland. This is Willow. This is gonna get us to Switzerland. And Switzerland's a pretty rough stream, especially with all the potholes. And in these conditions, you can't see how bad the potholes are, so you have to be extra cautious. But it's 29 degrees, so hopefully they're still a bit frozen. So we don't have any issues, but yeah. I miss this place as a kid big time. Life was perfect back then. No issues, no responsibility. Being an adult is horrible. <laughs> it really is. But we had our house in Lake Arrowhead. So the family would come up and then early in the morning, we would, like, my brother, my brother's friends, my cousins, we would drive from Lake Arrowhead, leave the house there at like 7.30 to get here on time for opening. And it was just awesome. I'd like to maybe do that drive during these, these storms today, maybe, but it's Friday. It's my busiest day for work. That would be pretty cool to show you guys the drive to Lake Arrowhead in these conditions. All right, here we go. 
Here's Switzerland to the left here. It's probably not going to be wise what we're doing, but you know what? Unwise is my middle name. Some absolutely monstrosity of homes are on this street. Some really big, beautiful, beautiful homes. And for me, it's kind of funny because there's not... They don't maintain the roads on this road well at all. I'm not talking about the plowing. I'm talking about all the potholes. I mean, they do not maintain it. This is one of my favorite houses up here in the whole Big Bear area. It's just huge. Wraps around the whole, whole corner. A friend of ours, his name's Pops. He's got a house like that over in, uh, like, it's not technically Sugarloaf, but it's at the bottom of Sugarloaf, over off of Highway 38. And then he's got another house right down the street that's like a bit smaller, but still about six or 7,000 square feet. Thank you. Yeah, this is a road you guys are not gonna wanna take, but it can save you so much time in certain certain situations when the boulevard's going crazy. Okay, we're getting to some of the bigger potholes here. And then there's this really steep downhill portion right here, which is pretty rough. Look at the blue sky right there, and it's still snowing. There's got to be a snowbow somewhere. Have you ever seen a snowbow there? I think we saw one last year. Okay. Okay. Crazy. Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, need for some adrenaline rush. She's in the need, the need for speed. <laughs> Woo. Obviously, you all know what movie that is, right? I feel the need, the need for speed. And then they high five each other with their special high five. Are you serious, babe? You don't know. Babe, come on. Well, if it's fast and furious. No, it's not fast and furious. Okay, so I was going to say, I've never watched it. The first one was awesome. Okay, so do you want a hint? Top Top Gun. <laughs> There's your hint. So what movie was it? <laughs> it's when. Oh, I know what movie it is. What? Top Gun. Babe, see, I knew you knew it. I knew you knew it. That hint helped a little bit though. That hint was good though. It's okay. You figured it out. You figured it out. All right, guys. We are coming up on some serious potholes. We're staying in first gear right now. Oh, look at this bad boy right here. All right, this is gonna be, I don't know how bad this one's gonna be. Oh, jeez, babe. Holy moly. Guys, that made my heart stop. Look at the entry to this place. Just amazing. Someday, babe, someday. Someday I'll wish upon a star. My wife said there's a professional boxer who lives right there, she thinks. She dropped him off some pizza. Uh, I don't know if it was that house, but... That was the one they pointed at. Was it 
Yep. Because I remember it clearly. Because I was like, wow, it's a freaking humongous entryway. Like, uh, tall? super tall. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think, I think it was. Super tall. And I just recently um, cleaned the house next door to them, maybe about two or three weeks ago. Beautiful houses. Absolutely, right, babe? Mm -hmm. So right here, this part in my new car last year, there was so much snow and I forgot about this dip and I bottomed out so hard. It was like two weeks after I got my brand new car, the car that I never drive. And I was, it, that like ruined my day for days in a row. My brand new car is the only car that I'm not upgrading at all. I'm not touching it. I'm no, no, no electronic stuff, no like speakers and stuff like, no PA systems or CB radios, no lift kits, nothing. It's just gonna stay the way that it is. It already comes a little bit lifted um, as per standard for the for the super awesome edition that I have. It's called the Subaru Outback Touring XT, and it's got a, a turbocharger. It's, it's, and as I said, it's a little bit higher off the ground anyway than the regular ones. Love seeing that graffiti up here. I was just gonna say, is that graffiti? Yeah. That's so so crazy. lame. Like so lame. Alright guys, yeah, they aren't they aren't gonna let us up there and I don't wanna lie to them and say that, hey, we're just dropping someone off just so I can get a little drive in there. I don't wanna do that. I've done that in the past and I never feel feel right about it. If the cops saw that and saw that guy's license plate completely not following the rules of the road and not following the traffic control, those are the people I, I, I would love to see get absolutely swiped because it's them who caused the problems up here. But yeah, is there, is there anyone back of us? Okay. So we're at Snow Summit, guys. I'm, I'm zooming in real quick just so you guys can see. It does look gorgeous out here. But well, this is as close as we are getting. And again, there's no one behind us, so we're not holding up any traffic. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. guarantee you that was a local too guys so you know the locals some of them the ones who are just angry which is not many of them because most of the people I know up here are incredible people but some 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 of the ones who just every day wake up with sandpaper on their toilet seat or something they're just <laughs> bitter um, always blame you guys for the bad driving up here but between you and me it's usually us <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you guys have a little more fun on the road, you can say, but yeah, that was that, that was definitely a local. I think what it is, is during off season too, we get so spoiled with no traffic. That's true, that's true, us. that's Nobody true. behind us, it's like the, we own the road and then, and then overnight, there's all these people here and it's like, what, I don't own the road? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Reality yeah. check. Yeah, true, <laughs> real, that's, that's definitely real there for sure. Uh, that truck sound like a, ho a horse with, with his chains went to it. <laughs> so guys I'm going to teach you guys the back route into the village oh wait but I don't want to take the back route because we're going to miss half of the village so we don't want to do that
so as I said, you, usually I would I would take you guys the back route. We'll we'll take the back route home, okay? I'll show you guys how to get all the way over to this street right here without having to touch Big Bear Boulevard. And you guys will be very very happy because it, it will save you. It'll save you a lot of time, especially in the conditions. It'll save you a lot of time. Day. Look at that blue skies right up there, and we just came from a bunch of snow. It's still snowing a little bit out here. I don't know if, if you guys can tell, but it's still snowing. Did I bring my Zin? Yes. Yes, I did. My Zinfandel. Guys, I'm gonna spare you the rest of this light. Stop it! No way. Yeah. Well, he's. Here we go. Let's get a little loose. Unfortunately, it just didn't happen for us. Hey, now you're an all-star. guys I don't know what it's gonna be like when you're driving up 330 to 18 because that side of our mountain range is a lot different weather than we get here usually they'll actually get hit harder but because of the lower elevation it's it, it, it's usually not as much snow but fairly often they will get more snow than us in the running springs area especially snow valley area but, so I uh, just think, make sure you have good tires. Don't come up here with any balling. Make sure you have your chains with you just in case. So I hear people a lot of the times ask you like, do you think I, you know, need chains? And it's like, you sh if you're coming up here, you should always have chains in the car, just in case, mm -hmm. right? I, yep, I agree. And um, well put, babe. tire and then your brakes as well. Like I would say, go get your brakes checked. Just make sure everything, is up to date before you come up here with those wheels. There you go. But I get around pretty well in my Kia. Um, I came up on a full snowstorm once in my Kia, but again, I had brand new tires, brand new brakes. I do think that makes a huge difference. Um, now my tires are not so great, so I think I would need to put some chains on at this point because my tires are, I need new tires at this point. Yeah, I have to buy some 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 new tires once this season's done for this car because when they switched my regular tires to my snow tires, my regular tires were like done. So yeah, or they said I had a little bit more left, but it would you know I'd probably have to swap them out within four or five months anyway. So I figured why not just put brand new tires on it. But yeah, guys, always keep your tire chains in your vehicle um, anytime you're coming up here during the cold months. Because even if there's no snowstorm, you you just never know how the roads are going to be. If if we have some like some fog up here that ices up, or um, just from the frequent snow melt, snow melting into the street and then freezing at nighttime so you always have to be prepared for the snow you always have to be prepped well for the icy snowy conditions even without any snow falling it's very important you guys are very important you 
guys are once again exactly like what makes this town flow well you know to be even more real about that it's not just you guys there's a crew of people up here like these guys right here making the sidewalks good for you guys working really hard this is not easy work um, our, our snow grooming crews, our police, our fire departments, um, our trash trash people, like it, it's, yeah, that's, every every town has that, but in, in these conditions, it just makes your work a lot harder. So I'm very, very proud of how hard a lot of our locals work to make sure that you guys have a great experience here. Clearly the village is dead. But remember guys, when we go to the very end here, I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna come back through this part so I can show you guys how to get to Snow Summit or even Moon Ridge Road without taking the main street at all. And don't forget guys, some sometimes it's very rare, but I'll get someone very angry who lives up here contacting me saying, why would you tell them that? Or, or like this and that. I tell you guys, cause I know you're not gonna be speeding down these streets. I know you guys are gonna be respectful. My whole point in giving you guys these shortcuts is just to save you a couple minutes here and there. And sometimes it can be a lot more than a couple minutes. And that time adds up if you're here for two, three or four days, it really does. I don't want you guys to get flustered at all. I want you guys to have the best time you can possibly have here. And that is what I am trying to do. If I knew that like everyone on this channel drives super fast and just doesn't care about the rules of the road and and uh, all the laws and stuff, then I, I probably wouldn't. But I have so many good relationships with so many people on this channel and I know you guys are good people. So I think good people deserve a little bit of a break. And you guys are very, re very respectful people, so. We're good. We're good. I'm going to keep on doing what I can to help you guys out. And really quickly, I, I'm, I'm going to have to make a flip a Yui right here. Is there, there's, there's no one behind us, right? Actually, we're going to go up here and turn just to be out of the, out of the way. We didn't have anyone behind us, but still, if we get stuck and have to make like a five point turn, I just don't want to have to put people in, in any jeopardy. So we're going to turn here. Whoa, babe, look at this. Brand new houses up here. That's cool. I bet that's a nice view looking down on the, on the village, huh? Yeah. Or maybe that hotel, my, fa my favorite one up here for like luxury, blocks it maybe. The blue green resorts. Did you ever stay in there, babe? And that that beautiful. Oh yeah. It was huge, huh? And just really high end stuff, right? Mhm. Mm they had nice. Viking ranges inside and uh, um, wolf stuff also, like like the the best kitchen appliances. And I have the video, guys, in, on the playlist of lodging. It's called The Club at Big Bear Village or something like that. It's a blue-green resort. It's absolutely awesome. We stayed in a three-bedroom. Just, I mean, this time of year, that room's at least a thousand bucks a night. And then, because they knew me from the channel, they took me on a tour of the presidential suite there too. So that's all on that video. The presidential suite was amazing. Yeah, we're starting to get a little more snow. Here's the club right here. This is this is my favorite favorite place up here for luxury. We've been there once because you know it's it's a, a bit pricey. I, I think we got it for for under three hundred a night, and we stayed there for three nights. Or was it three or was it two nights? Two nights. Yeah, two nights. But anyway, we're on Village Drive right now, you guys. Okay. So when you're on Big Bear Boulevard, 
and you see that Chevron back there, it, instead of turning left to stay on Big Bear Boulevard, you'll just stay straight to come into the village. This is gonna be your shortcut to get to Moon Ridge. And I, I will try to uh, tell you the um, streets and whatnot. And I'll try to show you on the GPS here. It should pop up here. It should. Doesn't mean that it's going to Apple CarPlay. Maps, there we go. Well, why, well, you need to disappear. So I know that's a small map and that favorites thing should move pretty quickly here. Yep. All right, so that's where we're at right now on Village Drive. And Village turns into Pennsylvania. Usually to stay in the village, you'll make a left-hand turn here to go through the rest of the village, but we are not doing that. We're gonna go straight. And you're gonna stay on this until it dead ends into a street called, um, I believe, Jeffries. So we're still on Village Drive right now, and as soon as we pass this stop sign, it, it turns in to Pennsylvania Avenue. So just think of where the president lives. And I, apparently this is low income housing over here, and I never knew that. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. It is loading. It is low income housing. Is it for sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to apply and there's a waiting list. I'll bet. I'll bet. But from the people I've heard that have been on the waiting list, it goes really fast. So they call your name quickly. A little bit sad because what that tells me is that the, like, it's still too high of an, an income place because people are getting asked to leave or something if they keep on having such a quick turnover like that or 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 it's such a boost and helpful to their lives that they, they were able to save enough uh, that's the, hey, see that's the attitude that's the positive attitude right there that's that's how i should have been seeing that whole situation <laughs> not a girl not a girl So remember, we're on Pennsylvania Avenue. <clears throat> and when it dead ends at the stop sign up here, you, you make a left. You can't go straight. You can go right or left, and you're gonna wanna make a left. And this street up here is called Jeffries. Yes, I need to get my car cleaned, it's filthy. So I called a couple detailing places, folks, and they want to charge like $450 for a detail. I, I couldn't believe it. Like I haven't had my car detailed, I guess, in years and years because I remember I thought it was crazy when it was like 200 to 250 bucks, but now like $450. That's up here, right? So we're turning right on Oak Street. You can't see it because there's snow plastered on on that sign, but we were just on Jeffries for a, a couple seconds and now we are on Oak Street. And we're gonna take Oak Street um, up to, it's called Eureka. But on Oak Street, you'll be coming up to a couple signs up here that say like, not a through street. And so that should tell you right there that you're gonna have to turn left anyway. <clears throat> I'm just trying to throw out as many little tricks to help you guys trigger your memory when taking this route so all right so look you see these two yellow signs here it says not a through street you're gonna want to turn left here and typically guys this will be how the traffic is I have seen it bumper to bumper it's very rare very rare usually that's when like all the locals are taking these back streets Right now, there's no need because Big Bear Boulevard's not inundated. So you'll you'll take this and it wraps wraps around here to the right. 
So you have to turn on this street, McWinnie. Right here, it's gonna show us turning right. Pretty easy so far, you guys. Once again, it's going to dead end again into a street called Wren, W-R-E-N. But just think of Wren and Stimpy. Then you're going to make a left on Wren. Remember, this whole time, Big Bear Boulevard is to the left. So most of, of these turns, you're, you're going to be turning down towards Big Bear Boulevard. And then the last part of this drive, we're on Wren now. The last street here right before you get to, to Big Bear Boulevard is called Brownie Lane. You're just gonna wanna turn right here on Brownie Lane and take this all the way to Moon Ridge Road. If you stay straight on Brownie Lane the whole time, it'll take you to Big Bear Boulevard. Also, just past Moon Ridge Road. But again, this is an extreme time saver in a lot of situations up here. I mean, 30 minutes to an hour at, at at least like it's it's pretty amazing and I love helping you guys like this necessarily need to know the names of the streets that we're passing if your goal is to get to Summit or Moon Ridge. <clears throat> so the next stop sign is going to be Summit Boulevard. So then you would turn right to get to Snow Summit. But we're going to be going straight through Summit Boulevard till we hit the next stop sign, which is Moon Ridge Road. And then we'll be done. Guy's not directing traffic well. This is where I told you one was telling me go that way, yeah, and the other one, and yeah. I was like, my brain, my brain, <laughs> my brain was split for a second. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this. All right, so we just crossed Summit Boulevard. That's where you would turn right to go skiing at Snow Summit. left-hand side is a big satellite parking lot for snow summit and a lot of times uh, when we have snow and a lot of people you'll you'll park here in, in this lot and then they have trams that come every 10 or 15 minutes to come and pick you up well wow, here she really got snowed on big time <laughs> yeah this <laughs> yeah yeah right no probably up, up by bear all right, so yeah, cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I, I hope I'm helping you guys in any way when it comes to our town and travel and conditions and stuff like that. That's my goal. I wanna do the best I can. Um, if you like what I do, please help me out. Hit the like and subscribe button because I do work so hard at this and it would be very, very, very kind and very helpful. Um, also, don't forget for your ski and snowboard rental needs, Go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. The best prices, the best quality product. Um, they don't pay me to say this stuff. He let me borrow a pair of, of skis to go skiing a, a couple times when I told him that I hear really great things about your shop and I was wondering if he'd be okay with me doing a little, you know, trying to help 
help you guys out with nothing expected in return. So I'm not getting paid to say this stuff. Um, but yeah, get boards on Big Bear Boulevard. If you mention the channel, if you bring your own stuff in, they will wax your skis and snowboards for free. And uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll take care of you all around. They're really good, good people. The owner's name is Tony. Um, they got a cool cat there named Kyle who will fix all your stuff, any issues you have, any broken things, he will fix it for you. Um, yeah, don't forget to mention the channel. And if you want to save money on your lift tickets, you guys, at GetBoards, go to GetBoards.com. And if you order your tickets 72 hours before you plan on actually skiing, then instead of going to the ticket window at the ski resort, you'll save quite a, quite a bit of money ordering your tickets online within a 72 hour period before you plan on skiing. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, thank you for everything again. And uh, here's my wifey. We'll Are we saying bye? Yeah, yeah, that's what I've been doing bye. for this. Oh, I'm sorry, I was on my phone doing work, I'm sorry. No worries. But um, thank you for joining us and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, we have so much fun with you guys. We're so grateful for everything um, that you do for the channel and all the support you give, so. All right, well thanks babe. Yeah guys, thank you. We do have a lot of fun with you. Those live feeds are awesome too. Love them, love them. So we'll probably be doing another live feed starting tomorrow evening. It depends, if it starts to dump later on today, then we will do another live feed. But other than that, um, thank you guys again for everything. If you have any questions about anything, you can always hit me up. I am always here for you guys, all right? Thank you again, love you all very, very much, and have a blessed, peaceful rest of your day and a fantastic weekend. Happy Groundhog Day, folks.